given that we have a rental crisis, given that the immigrants haven't yet started really returning on en masse, given that, you know, we do have an affordability crisis on a number of different levels and we've got a supply crisis, um, I don't know, what are some of the, what can happen? (laughs) What do you think could happen here? I I mean, for me, a lot of it just points to short-term pain in the rental market in particular, if we consider that overseas migrants are typically yeah. renters when they get here and mm. who knows how COVID will affect their settlement patterns, but traditionally mm. it's been inner city, Sydney, Melbourne. Which we're still at quite high vacancy rates in apartments. Well, <laughs> so city, funnily enough, Sydney, Melbourne. Melbourne's been a really interesting example where this very international city had rental vacancy rates, the the inner Melbourne market had rental vacancy rates peak at 15%, which is huge. Mm, it is double and it's digits. corrected yeah. and it and it's since corrected to under 2%. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's like wow. between, yeah. I don't know, people moving to inner Melbourne to take up those cheap rentals and vacancies, investors selling off um, the, the start of the return of migration. It's one of the most extraordinary <laughs> rapid wow. corrections in the market yeah. that I think I've ever seen and it's only it, it could be amplified by by increased return of overseas yeah. arrivals so mm. I see that that is kind of the short term pain point and again you get the reactionary population stuff we talked about people adapting to those higher rents moving around and then if we look at yeah. um so the Australian construction industry forum they produce forecasts around dwelling completions. CoreLogic does a little bit of work with them in terms of supplying uh, some of our construction data in that space as well. And they're forecasting detached construction to peak this year and Mm, um, apartment construction because apartments take a little longer to go from origination to completion, that to sort of peak uh, midway through next year. So by the time we see all of those completions play out, that might help ease conditions a little combined with the rising rate environment, slowing demand right down. New approvals are going to slow down if, if nothing else because of higher interest rates, but no doubt compounded by all the stress in the construction industry at the moment. Um, so I think, I think it'll sort of just ease off, but yeah, there is definitely some short term pain. 